Hi everyone. Um, I started this channel in February, one day, because I was pissed off at something Donald Trump said. I had no envisions it would gonna, I'd gonna end up with so many subscribers and thousands of views. I had no idea. I was just angry one day. I was angry that not just the state of the world, but the state of the media and the fact that they weren't covering things properly. Ever since I started this channel. I've been consistent with Brexit all along. I've said, A, the Tories and Theresa May are kicking the can down the road as far as possible in order to frustrate Brexit for long enough so that the pe people get scared enough that they'll stop in the EU. And I've also said, B, they will push for an extra, for extra time, for an extension on the Brexit transition period. Those two things I've said in almost every video I think I've done on Brexit. People who've been with me since the start of this channel will, will concur it. I've not got special powers. I've not got a crystal ball. I can't see the future. But anybody who's been paying attention can see that this is what is happening. And this is from the Independent today on the back of her meeting with Brussels, her crunch meeting with Brussels, yesterday, with the EU. Theresa May opens door to a longer Brexit transition period. Prime Minister raised extension with leaders at Brussels summit. Why is it I can see this months, years in advance? I can see this months in advance, but none of the media seem to... None of them have a clue. Theresa May has opened the door to an even longer Brexit transition period, say the Independent, setting herself on yet another collision course with Tory Euro sceptics and potentially growing EU divorce bill by billions. Wonderful. More time in the EU, giving them billions of public money without any say on the rules. The Prime Minister brought up the possibility of an extension during meetings with EU leaders in Brussels on Wednesday as she sought to find a way to break the deadlock in negotiations. Oh, that's cute, independent. She's not, she's not, <laughs> she's not trying to find a way to break a deadlock in negotiations. She's trying to kick the can as far as she can down the road, because she knows as soon as the Tories, as she and the Tories make a decision, they lose power. One way or another, whatever they do, they're going to piss off either a faction within their own party or they're going to piss off the DUP, which is propping up their government. And they're going to lose power. She's not trying to break the deadlock at all. That is cute. The period which, uh, during which the UK would stay completely tied to the EU rules without any say on them is hugely unpopular with Brexiteers who believe it would make Britain a vassal state of the bloc. I would add that it's not just Brexiteers that are that that's unpopular with. I would add that there's a lot of Remainers out there. I'm somebody who voted Remain, remember, in 2016. Not because I wanted to Remain, but just because I could see this two years ago happening. But there's plenty of people who voted to, to Remain who would agree that an extension period would make Britain a vassal state of the bloc. European Parliament President Antonio Tajani, who was in the room while Miss May spoke with leaders, said the Prime Minister had listed a longer transition as the possible solution to the current impasse. It was mentioned, both sides mentioned the idea of an extension of a transition period as one possibility that is on the table that would be looked into, Mr Tajani told reporters after Miss May's address. Theresa May, during her speech, said it's possible to, uh, to achieve an agreement also on the transition period, but not with a clear position on the timing. With a smile, he added, the council is the transition council. The Prime Minister is also understood to have brought up an extension to the period in a private bilateral meeting with Council President Donald Tusk earlier in the afternoon. And then we come to the last Paragraph I'm going to read in this article. Again, I'll leave a link below if you want to read it. One Brussels official told the Independent that the UK's negotiators had been sounding out a possible extension to the transition for months in talks. There's no actual name there. It's just one official. But I happen to believe that because it's what I've been saying all along. The Tory government and Theresa May have no intention whatsoever of doing a deal on Brexit with the EU. 
None. I'm repeating myself, I know. But no matter what they do and no matter what she does with regards to Brexit, as soon as she makes a decision, they're going to lose power and a new election is going, a general election is going to be triggered as a result. As soon as it happens. Now, the only way I can see that not happening is if they actually, if the Tories get rid of her and install another, uh, you know, Prime Minister without having um, another vote. But I have a feeling that if they do that again, like they did with David Cameron when she first became leader, if they do that again, I have a feeling that the country are going to stand up in one voice and say, no, not again. Whether that happens, I don't know, but that's just me guessing, really. But um, this is the whole plan all along. Keep the can down the road. Don't make a decision. Don't respect the will of 17.4 million voters. And screw democracy. We've got to do what's better for the Tory, best for the Tory party and Theresa May. That is all they care about. That's it. And I have been saying this all along. And I'm no genius, but I have been right every single step of the way. And I have preempted what the Tories are going to do every step in the way, step of the way. And it's not just me. Anybody who has been ta- paying attention to this will tell you the same thing. Anybody. Why the media haven't been telling the people this for months, I don't know. Or factions of the media. She's got to go. She's got to go. It's time for her and the Tories to step aside and actually let somebody be in charge of negotiations of Brexit who actually wants to deliver Brexit and actually wants to uphold democracy in this country and deliver what we democratically voted to do. Some people are going to flip out at that and say, it wasn't undemocratic, it wasn't, it wasn't undemocratic. Stop it. <laughs> Somebody's going to flip out at that. I know they are. 17.4 million people voted for Brexit. It's time we had a government that will actually deliver the will of the people. Whether you like it or not, we have to respect democracy. She's not doing that. All she's doing is what's best for her and what's best for the Tory party. And to hell with what 17.4 million voters wanted and to hell with the democracy. That is what the Tories want to do and they want to frustrate it for as long as possible and scare people into supporting another vote so we can finally do what she wanted all along and that's vote to stop in the EU because it was the wrong decision to leave. (laughs) Going to have another vote and get the right decision next time. It's time for her to step aside. Now, Labour Party and Jeremy Corbyn, their stance is we want a customs union with the EU and that's what we will push for. And the EU have said we're open to that. I think it's time for them to step away from Brexit because if they can't deliver it, it's time for them to move aside and let somebody else who will respect democracy and 17.4 million voices. And that time is long past year. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe and click the bell below so you get a notification of when I drop further videos. Independent voices like mine, I'm sure you're aware by now, are being censored across all social media platforms. So please like and comment on the videos. That really does help the channel out. And share the videos wherever you can to grow the audience. If you can, please support me on Patreon. You can do it for as little as a dollar a month. I cannot do this without your help. I rely on your donations. Thanks very much for your support. It really is appreciated. Until next time, peace and take care.